In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Excel's power and sample size calculator. The example I'm going through is taken from the Sigma Excel workbook. Now, using the one sample T test, which was demonstrated in an earlier video, we determined that customer types 1 and 3 resulted in a failure to reject our null hypothesis of a mean equal to 3.5. Now, a failure to reject the null does not mean that we have proven it to be true. The question that we want to consider here is, what was the power of the test, or restated, what was the likelihood that given the alternative was true, we would have rejected the null and accepted the alternative? Now to answer this, we are going to use the power and sample size calculator. Now to use the calculator, you just make sure the Sigma XL tab is selected. Click on the Statistical Tools button. Now scroll down to Power and Sample Size Calculators and select the One Sample T-Test Calculator. Now for your values here, we're going to enter a sample size of 27. The difference to be detected in this case would be the difference between the sample mean and the hypothesized value, that is 0.14. So enter 0.14 beside difference. Now leave the power value blank with solve for power selected, which is the default. Now given any two values of power, sample size, and difference, Sigma XL solves for the remaining selected third value. So enter the sample standard deviation value of 0.64 in standard deviation, and keep our alpha and our alternative hypothesis at the defaults which are shown. Now click OK, and the results are shown. And we can see here that a power value of 0.2 is very poor. It is the probability of detecting the specified difference, or alternatively, the associated beta risk is 0.8, which is the probability of failure to detect such a difference. Now, typically, we would like to see a power of greater than 0.9. In order to detect a difference this small, we would need to increase the sample size, or we could also set the difference to be detected as a larger value. Now, first, we're going to determine what sample size would be required in order to obtain a power value of 0.9. So click on the Recall Sigma XL dialog button. Now select Solve for Sample Size. Now it's not necessary to delete the entered sample size of 27. It's going to be ignored anyway. However, enter a power value of 0 0.9. Everything else can remain the same. And click OK. And the resulting report is shown. Now, it indicates a sample size of 222 would be required to obtain a power value of 0 0.9. The actual power value is rarely the same as the desired power due to the restriction that the sample size must be an integer. The actual power will always be greater than or equal to the desired power. Now we're going to determine what the difference would have to be to obtain a power value of 0 0.9, given the original sample size of 27. So once again, again rather, click on the Sigma XL dialog button. And this time, you are going to be selecting Solve for Difference. And again, you do not have to delete any of the previous values here. Now, leave everything the same and click OK. Now you'll see that this report is shown. And it indicates that a difference of 0.415 would be required to obtain a value, power value of 0.9, given a sample size of 27. Now, in order to provide a graphical view of the relationship between power, sample size, and difference, Sigma XL provides a tool called Power and Sample Size with Worksheets. Similar to the calculators, Power and Sample Size with Worksheets allows you to solve for power, sample size, or difference. You must have a worksheet with power, sample size, or difference values. Now, other inputs such as standard deviation and alpha can be included in the worksheet or manually entered. Now, for this example, we're going to be opening the file called Sample Size and Difference Worksheet. So open that. Sample Size and Difference Worksheet. Now make sure that the Sample Size and Diff Sheet is selected. Now once it's open, click on Sigma XL, click on Statistical Tools, Click on Power and Sample Size with Worksheets, and select One Sample T-Test. Now, if it's not already selected, make sure that the entire data table is selected and click Next. Now, ensure that Solve for Power 1 Beta is selected. 
and select sample size for your sample size, select difference for your difference, and make sure that your standard deviation has a value of 1. Enter 0 0.05 as the significance level value. Now our alternative hypothesis remains at the default setting not equal to, and you can click OK. And the resulting report is shown here. Now to create a graph showing the relationship between power, sample size, and difference, click the Sigma Excel tab, select Statistical Tools, and select Power and Sample Size Chart. You can see it highlights all of the relevant data. So click Next. Now select Power as your y-axis, select sample size n as your x-axis, and select difference um, for your group category. Now you can modify the title here and you can enter anything you'd like. Um, so we can go ahead and just call this power and sample size chart. Click OK. And you'll see that the power and sample size chart is displayed.